According to a study, around 70% of visitors on your e-commerce site are not going to complete the checkout process. Which means, if you have 10 visitors a day on your e-commerce website, 7 of them are not going to complete their order on your e-commerce website. So why is it happening and what you can do about it? Let's find out in this video. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about WordPress, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. Alright, so you have the most beautiful e-commerce website in this world and you have all the best products laid out on your e-commerce website and you are getting a lot of visitors as well. But there is a very, very high chance that most of your visitors are not completing the checkout to make the final purchase. And there could be many reasons for this cart amendment and some of them are like payment and shipping issues and even account registration process. So in this video, let's talk about some of the reasons why cart abandonment happens on your e-commerce website and what are the strategies you can implement on your e-commerce website to minimize this. Reason number one, unnecessary checkout fields. If your checkout page got a lot of fields that are not actually required to complete the order, then make sure you remove all these fields and save your visitors time so that they can complete the checkout in the minimum possible time. For example, if you are selling a digital product, you don't need a shipping address. So you can completely remove the shipping address field or the customer address field in general and that can help the visitor do the checkout in no time. And even if you are selling physical products, you can try your best to minimize the fields for checkout. Like you don't have to take phone number of your customer every time and everybody is not comfortable sharing their phone number for creating an account or maybe doing a purchase online. Along with that, you can make sure that you do not repeat the field for billing and the shipping address. If you got the shipping address, give an option to your visitors so that they can repeat the same details that they have entered in the shipping address. They can have that in billing address too so that they don't have to enter all the details again. And to edit all these fields, there are various plugins available and one is from WooCommerce itself which is Checkout Field Editor. You can check what all options are available with that plugin and we will add links to some other plugins in the video description below. So you can go ahead and check which one suits your requirement best and try it on your website. Point number two, minimizing the checkout page. Now you got a visitor on your WooCommerce website and they are only interested in buying one single product. You must have seen this strategy on various e-commerce websites like Amazon.com. They have two buttons on their product page. One is add to cart and another one is buy now, which means once you click on add to cart, it will keep the visitor on the product page itself. And once they click on buy now or checkout now button, they will be redirected directly to the checkout page. So by this, you are not redirecting your visitors to the cart page. You are directly taking them to the checkout page. And for that as well, you can use various plugins which can help you create one page checkout process on your WooCommerce website. Point number three, giving lot of options for payment. Now, once your visitor is on the final stage of checkout and they are about to pay, it's very annoying to ask them only credit card or debit card options. Most of your visitors might be doing shopping from mobile devices and at that time, they may or may not have their credit card handy. So make sure you give them multiple payment options like PayPal, Stripe, Apple Pay or maybe Amazon Pay itself so they can choose whatever payment option is comfortable with them at that particular situation. So make sure you do not restrict your visitors by just credit or debit card payment options. And for that, as well, you can use various plugins like for Stripe Payment Gateway, you have a separate plugin and for PayPal, you have PayPal Express Checkout plugin. And for some more versatile options, you can choose payment gateways like Authorize.net. And once they are on the checkout page, make sure you have some sort of progress bar or maybe some steps which are clearly showing that how many steps the visitor need to take to complete this transaction. So that gives a visual appeal to your visitors that they now know that this is the progress bar which is moving on while they are doing the checkout. So they know that the process is about to finish or if you are showing in step form, then they know that these are the steps they need to take that will make the checkout process much comfortable. And if you don't have any of these feature on your checkout page, there's a high chance that your visitor will abandon the cart because attention span of a visitor on a checkout page is very critical. 
and you need all the attention of your visitors on the checkout page. So by showing them steps or maybe a progress bar could be a great idea to help your visitors do the checkout in a better way. Next point is to simplify or completely skip the account creation process. Now I'm sure you must have experienced that as well. And it mostly happens when you are doing transaction on a new website that once you go on the checkout page, they ask you to register first. And that is really annoying for a new visitor. It's very helpful for your new visitors to give them guest checkout options. And if in case they do the purchase using guest checkout, you can send them emails after that, that your account has been created and you just need to reset a password. And here is your discount for your second purchase. So you're not just reducing your cart abundantment, you are actually doing marketing for your future sales. Along with that, make sure you have social logins on your e-commerce website where people don't have to do all the registration process from starting on your e-commerce website. They can just click on login with Facebook, login with Gmail account or login with any other popular platform where you can just get the basic details from their public profile and then help them do the checkout in minimum time. And for WooCommerce, there are various options for social logins that are available and you can go ahead and test which one works best for you. Next point is do not surprise your visitors. Now I have seen this on many e-commerce websites. You add the product in your cart, you go to the cart page, you go to and even you go to the checkout page and even at that stage, you do not know if there will be a tax or a extra shipping cost going to apply on that order. And for that, you need to fill up all the details on the website. Then the website will tell you that this is the extra tax you're going to pay. And this is the shipping cost will be applicable for your location. And if you are doing this on your WooCommerce site, then this is the number one reason that you might be facing a lot of cart abandonments. If you are doing that on your WooCommerce site, then make sure you remove this option from your WooCommerce site right now. You need to be very clear about the extra taxes or any extra shipping cost. And if possible, then make sure you have an option on the product page. If not on the product page, maybe on the cart page or even if not on the cart page, make sure you have all that information available in advance as soon as the visitor reach on the checkout page. And if they want to check the shipping price, all they have to do is enter the pin code in on the checkout page and they should be able to see how much shipping charge will be applicable on that purchase. And if you can do that on the product page itself, then that is the best way forward. And for this as well, there are a lot of plugins available that can help you get the shipping address on the product page. Next point is paying attention to your analytics. You might be using Google Analytics and you can also refer to the analytics in the WooCommerce itself and make sure you go through your analytics very well. You will be able to know at what point your visitors are leaving your website. So with that, you can work out that if they are not comfortable with your product price or if there is any issue on your cart page or if the issue is on the last checkout page. So for all that, your Google Analytics and your WooCommerce Analytics is the place that you need to dive deep in and to analyze how your visitors are interacting with your WooCommerce website. You can also create some goals and conditions on your Google Analytics so that it can track everything that is happening on your WooCommerce website. So these are some of the points that you can check on your WooCommerce website to make sure that your visitors become your customers and they do not abandon cart while doing the checkout. So if you have an e-commerce website, then let us know in the comment section below what is the number one reason you see that your visitors are abandoning your cart? Or if you want to share your experience, when was the last time you abandoned any cart on e-commerce website and for what reason? Do let us know in the comment section below why we do not complete the checkout process on any e-commerce website. So if you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos related to WooCommerce and WordPress in general. And do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.